Hello, my name is Alexandra Castillo and uh, this is my treasure box. This is the outside portion of it. Um, I wanted to go ahead and start with the first um, item that I think represents me, one of them being this Starbucks bag. I think that this Starbucks bag represents my race. Um, most of the time I am labeled as white because of my skin color, um, my Spanish descent, but in reality, I think this is a very mad, bad misrepresentation of all Hispanics around the country, around the globe, because, or just because our skin color is white or is black, we're referred to either as, or labeled as white or black. And I think that choosing the Starbucks bag, um, a lot of people label white people as loving starbucks if you refer to starbucks it's they're saying you're acting white you're going to a white person's coffee shop um the next thing that i did cho choose um was this ruler or sorry this measuring tape um the reason for this measuring tape is because a lot of people when they see me the first thing that they'll notice or want to talk about is my height i'm almost six feet and as a hispanic woman that's very unnamed for most of hispanic women without putting out a stereotype are a little bit shorter than that so when i am when i people see me they want to go ahead and label me as tall or unusual and go ahead and ask me personal things about my height who my parents are why i'm this tall um and after that the next thing that they will ask me is my age the reason why i put my driver's license um, I'm 25 years old and when I tell people that I'm 25, they want to go ahead and label me as inexperienced, as young. And while I could be those things, I think it's a very bad misrepresentation of me because I'm also learning to live my life the way I would like to live it um, and based on the guide of God. A lot of people want to go ahead and give me their thoughts about how they're, they live their lives and how everything's been better for them in a certain way. And I think that while it is good, but I have my own path and the way I would like to live my life, um, I feel like sometimes when they see my age, they're just like, okay, we need to give her this, this um, thought or tell her to live her life this way. And I feel that as a young person, it's sometimes hard because we're getting all of these thoughts from different people and will confuse us even more. So I feel that a good way for us to live our life is by trial and error, which is the reason why I also chose my uh, driver's license. The next thing that I would, I would like to present is this apron. Um, these colors are usually colors that are used in Central American cultures. Um, personally, I'm Salvadorian Guatemalan from my parents' descent. A lot of people want to go ahead and label me as Mexican just because I look Hispanic and I feel like that's that's not how we should all be labeled. Just because we speak Spanish or we look a certain way or talk a certain way, we shouldn't be all lab be labeled as, as Mexican. Um, there are different cultures that each country has and being mixed from two cultures, it's sometimes difficult and just having that one label really angers me because I have to learn two cultures I have to assimilate two cultures and at the same time learn another culture which is of the United States um, my fifth item is here a menstrual pad uh, the reason that I chose this one is because as a woman I feel that we're usually labeled as weak or compared to our male counterparts we are just seem like we complain about everything especially while we're on our menstrual cycles. Some women have really bad pains and men wanna go ahead and say that they're complaining or they have really bad attitudes, which I honestly think shouldn't be that way. Um, us as women, we know what we go through and the things that we need to pass through just so that we can be looked at as the same as our male counterparts. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the inside of my treasure box. The first one, that I would like to present is this Bible. Um, this is one of the first things I think represents me is because I identify as a Jehovah's Witness. A lot of people that I meet sometimes are surprised by that and they will ask me 
questions um and i feel like this is usually a part of me that i share if i'm only asked to not really if someone's asking me questions or i not i don't really walk around with like a label saying i'm a jehovah's witness i just this is one of the things i identify with um the next thing would be a photo um this photo is of myself and my parents while i was younger um i'm choosing this photo to indicate that i am an only child um a lot of people want to go ahead and label me as a brat or spoiled when they find out that i'm an only child which is sometimes true for some people but i feel like in hispanic culture and our households i wasn't really taught to be spoiled i was taught to work for my own things and that's not a label that should be widely used for children that are only childs in their households um my parents from a very young age taught me that i need to work for my stuff that i need to help people and not just expect for me to get things just because i want them um the other thing that i would like to present is this sewing needle um the reason that i have a sewing needle is because one of my hobbies is that i like to sew or um fix clothing i feel like a lot of people when they see me they're just they probably don't think that's one of my hobbies but it is um and they're honestly act surprised when they find out that i like sewing um and it's actually one of the few things that satisfies me when i see that i've finished my work and what i've accomplished the other thing that i would like to present are my airpods um reason being is because i've been told i have a very serious face when i'm at the gym and while it is true i do have a serious face when no one's talking to me or i'm in my thoughts or i'm at work trying to get my work done um they don't really know my true motivations i do like to help people i don't have a serious face just because like i like to help people um put myself in other shoes and some people think that just because I have a serious face I don't like to help or I'm just in my own thoughts not trying to make any conversation or friendships or know someone and I feel like that's that really shows that judging someone's face <laughs> isn't very helpful um you should really get to know the person and then also the last thing that I would like to present is my tassel from when I graduated with my bachelor's degree. This is something that I chose to represent me because sometimes people think that Hispanic women are usually women that will give birth quick at a young age uh, to multiple kids sometimes and I feel like that's something that's that goes around in the Hispanic culture. Um, another thing is they think or other people think that Hispanic women will pay or work at any low paying service job, which is really not true. Um, for me specifically, I work in a customer service job and sometimes people are surprised when they see that or know that I have a bachelor's degree and working that type of job, which is insurance customer service. Um, personally, I feel like as a Hispanic woman, I really shouldn't be labeled as anything. I should just, people should just get to know me, even though that's not the world that we live in, but yeah, this is basically all of my 10 items. Thank you for listening, um, and I hope you have a wonderful day.